we have one more clip of a former moderate, I mean, conservative Democrat. And this is just absolutely bizarre. And there just seems to be like this branding mechanism with uh, moderate Democrats. Claire McCaskill, she, she failed in a reelection bid for some reason. Democratic sources cite her uh, knowledge on how to get elected in places where she didn't get elected. She didn't get reelected. But this is just bizarre. I uh, certainly believe there should be a commission on January 6th um, about I think it's helpful both politically and important uh, in terms of, of the country. I think there's also reason to believe that there may have been Republican politicians involved in this. But um well, I'll remind you, this is also a person who has been saying for years, we've got to we got to be bipartisan and and believed all sorts of bipartisan nonsense or at least pushed it as both a senator and as a commentator. She has a very odd uh, new tradition in her family in celebrating July 4th. Listen to how people reacted to this into this Fourth of July weekend. We're going to start a new family tradition in my family on the 4th of July and every 4th of July going forward. We're going to watch that video that the New York Times put together of, Jan of January 6th. All right, Claire McCaskill, have a great 4th of July to you and your family. Joe, same to you. We will. Uh, I was going to say, um, what's 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 his name? The commentator? Uh, Willie Geist. Willie Geist. I, I don't play poker with that guy. <laughs> Don't play poker with that guy. Hey, he took a moment to sort of be like, wait, I'm sorry. Did you just say that? What? They're going to replay that uh, video of the New York by the New York Times of January 6th. I mean, that's an insane thing to do, even if you were doing that on January 6th every year. But <laughs> July 4th. Yes. It, you know, like, look, there, the. I understand the personal motivation that people in that uh, capital must have to find out what went on. And I understand the idea that if you worked in that place at one point, that you would also feel some type of personal, you know, sort of, uh, you know, sort of outrage. But that's one of the biggest problems with senators is that their personal relationships with other senators trumps the idea that you're voting on legislation that's going to impact the lives of at the very least 300 million people i mean everybody has their own traditions and i'm not going to begrudge anybody that but that is odd folks there's more of what you've just saw where that came from that's if you hit the subscribe and like button thank you really thank you